telling you. I heard it. Howling. Those words. I will tell the truth. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. It's so good to see you again. Sadia, wake up, dear. Yes, Mum. You want a drink? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Now please, no more questions. Yes. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. Let me know if there's anything else you need.
I'm glad we're friends. I have something for you. Here. Yes? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let visitor. me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. <coughs> hmm? Bah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait. Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when Barangar. you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. 
You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Dirilef tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A Whoa, dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But House Carl, how can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us hmm? have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, no, so I'll dead. Die. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah! Damn yeah. right! Let's move out. 
No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with.
No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Godman, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. <sighs> Kinner, let's save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes! Find cover and make every arrow count! <laughs>
I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Fools! What, what, what manner of power is that? About the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Fools! She summons Let's the Thor. I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a gnoll. I can all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. Really are dragonborn then. Fools! By the gods! What manner of power is that? <clears throat> we taught that dragon not to mess with White Run, didn't we? I'm glad you're on our side.
don't suppose there is. But you don't have to be so damn prickly. You've already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. You will pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A red guard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. She cannot hide from us forever. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. I ain't done nothing. Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. Argonian ale. I can almost taste it. Sure, whatever.
good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. <clears throat> so it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avenici. <sighs> I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? I'm heading home, if you need me. It takes a while to make a dress, Shaggy. You have to be patient. But I don't want to be patient. I want to Fancy get ropes. Out. You a wizard or something? All you ever do is complain about what you want. You're well, in the old tales, the dragonborn heroes would use the power of their voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. Wolfheart was dragonborn. Talos too, the founder of the Empire. Back in the good old days. In the very oldest tales, back from when there still were dragons in Skyrim. The Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. In the old tales, Nord heroes would use the power of their voice to shout down the gates of cities and 
and strike down their enemies. But only the Greybeard studied the way of the voice anymore. If you can shout, you need to talk to them. They're the masters of the way of the voice, of shouting. They live up on top of the throat of the world. If you're really Dragonborn, they'll want to talk to you. In the old stories, they always summon the Dragonborn for training. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Balgruff and I share a battle bond. We met as youth and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. I am charged with protecting the Jarl from any and all threats. Powerful men have many enemies, more so in times of strife, so you can imagine the dangers. Oh yes, there have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end at the tip of my blade. Take your pick. Dragons, Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles, Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. And those are just the physical threats. Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. Every day he deals with obsequious functionaries and incompetent bureaucrats. Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. Well, not yet anyway. I've got my eyes on you. <clears throat> The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Lead the way. I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens.
Let's get going then. What do you need, my friend? I can tell you're no Looking stranger. Looking for my husband, while. Nazim? Sure Check the Jarl's backside. That's usually where he stuffs himself these days. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. If you have need of hunting supplies, then you've come to the right place. Need something? Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Hagraven or Horker, it matters not. We've got the arrows to fell any game. Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Honorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming... rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my... well... Rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Try Holda, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Take a look. Thank you very much for your business. I can tell you're no stranger to the wilds. I'm sure we can meet your hunting needs. 
You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. Then you he fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. I'm thinking more than three weeks. Three weeks? I can teach you a few things. You can't keep this stand closed for that long. Why not? No, I'm not. Business has been Looks terrible. like we've got something in common, then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, uh, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. Congratulations, brother. You've been living in Skyrim so long, you've become a Nord. At least the Nords don't shirk their responsibilities. <coughs> Speak. Yes. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? <laughs> 